Well, despite the debt ceiling deal signed today by President Obama, the Dow tumbled below the 12,000 mark. It was off over two percentage points, down almost 300 points. Wall Street now on its longest losing streak in more than two and a half years. Seems like investors are growing anxious with a capital A about the country's economy. Joining me live to talk about what has happened today on the street and what may happen is Eric Jensen of the Valley. He's a certified financial planner. Eric, good to see you. How are you? Hey, Chris. How are you? Good. Were you surprised by what happened today? I mean, they finally work out this deal, and yet the street just said, uh-uh, investors obviously didn't like it. Well, I think uh, what happened is is that uh, the market stopped looking at the debt issues and start looking at the bigger issues, which are, you know, whether the economy is slowing down to a point where it's going to cause issues uh, with investments. And... I think in, in light of where we are and in the summertime and volumes a little bit low, you're going to get volatility like this and it's, it could be quite scary, that's for sure. So what you're saying then is even in addition to the debt ceiling, a lot of investors don't like what they're seeing. What do you think it's going to take to turn around? For example, I hear many corporations' balance sheets are just loaded with cash. What's it going to take to get them to spend that money, hire new people and get the jobs that everybody says is the key to a turnaround? Well, they've got the money, but they don't want to spend it right now. And the reason is, is they're uncertain as to which way things are going. And uh, when you don't know uh, that your investment is going to perform, you tend to want to hold back, and cash is king in those kind of in environments. And that's what you have going on right now. So people are worried about uh, what's going on in Europe. They're worried about what's going on in the United States. They're worried about what's going on with Congress, which has just been a mess. And, you know, it just, it just, kind, of, uh, just kind of builds on itself to a point where you get the kind of volatility you had today. And it's going to take a while to get through this, and I think caution is the word for now. What do you think of some new form, and a lot of people don't like the word, but stimulus? Would you like to see something, for example, many people talk about a payroll tax cut. Do you think that might spur some of these companies to use some of that cash and hire? Well, you start asking me questions about taxes and cuts, and I'm always a big fan of anything that reduces the amount of money that goes out of one's pocket and allows people to keep their own money and do their own thing. So a payroll tax cut is a good thing in that it just allows people to spend their money on things they want to spend versus on what the government wants people to spend. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that that fosters uh, a, a growth in the economy. So, uh, you know, you're asking me, you know, that kind of a question, I got to give that kind of an answer. But I think anything that allows people to keep more of their own money, make their own decisions, um, and spend it in the way they see fit. That's what capitalism is all about. And I think, you know, I think our, our government made some good moves that, toward that uh, with, the, with the debt increase but, and the budget that they're working on. But we've we got a long way to go. Mm. You deal with a lot of people who are in retirement. What are you telling them right now? Well, I think the most important thing, and I talked to somebody just today uh, that needed money. If you need money in the next five, six months, why would you have it at risk that would, you know, today's activity would bother you at all anyway? Um, you, you don't want to have that at risk. It should be in the bank or in a money market or something that is, you know, it's ready for you to take it out and you don't have to worry about losing that money. Uh, other than that, uh, you know, I think being tactical and moving money around uh, so that you're not, you know, just sitting here ready to get hit like uh, folks have gotten hit today, you got to be prepared for that and you got to know how much risk is on the table at any time. And gold just continues to climb the mountain, but how much risk is associated there? Well, I think gold is a, is, a, is a fear issue. So, you know, the more fear there is, the higher gold's going to go. And fear is here to stay for now. Uh, you know, it could be gone tomorrow, but, uh, you know, we incorporate a little bit of gold into our portfolios, and it's something that has benefited our clients. And uh, I, don't think that, I don't think that thing is going off the table for a while. Eric Jensen, finally, you're clearly a man who knows the economy. Are we headed for another recession? Well, I think that we're on the verge. I think the information that came out this week, the ISM manufacturing index was horrible. Uh, personal spending was down. Consumer confidence is back down again. We're definitely in a soft patch. Um, you know, what's going to turn it around? Well, maybe some certainty, which I don't see coming for a while. Uh, so it's a matter of, uh, I, I think, patience. Uh, I, I don't think the government's doing enough, but in other ways, they're doing too much. So you've got you to gotta be careful right now, and I think caution is the word. Let me end on a positive note. At least we have the NFL. That's exactly right. I can't <laughs> wait for that. Eric Jensen, a certified financial planner. Thank you for being our newsmaker today. Thanks a lot, Chris.